Wait a minute. We're in 2022 and you still have no idea about the best device that can help you with teaching? Well, this video is for you. Many of you would say that it's a Windows laptop or a MacBook. And I would say they are great and they are essentials, but not necessarily the best. Having a laptop for an online Zoom class is really great and it gives you almost everything you need, especially when you connect it to a larger display for multitasking and enjoying your class while drinking your coffee. But what if I told you there is a life-changing device for teachers and it is not a phone? Yeah, even a smartphone can be pain in the neck with that screen size. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a notebook and a marker, but this is not definitely the thing that we're looking for. But this is an iPad and this is an Apple Pencil. And these two devices are going to make a huge impact on your teaching and productivity. There are many models of iPad out there and uh, this video is not about reviewing them because even the earliest model of iPad that supports first generation Apple Pencil is more than enough for teachers. iPad is an affordable choice with a huge potential along with Apple Pencil for every teacher out there. It gives you a great portability and also battery life. But this is not the all. Here are top 5 reasons why iPad can be a great choice for you as a teacher. Please don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the like and the bell button if you'd like to see more contents like this. iPad is really great for note taking. Imagine you can write all your lesson plans and store them in your iPad and the writing can be done with your hand. So you can easily type or do handwriting with Apple Pencil and just store it and carry it anywhere that you would like to go. I also use it most of the times to annotate the student's homework. When it comes to writing, you just want to annotate some words or maybe correct some mistakes. So iPad is really great in helping you do all those doodles and drawings and everything. So you can simply receive the writing tasks through PDF if you're having online classes or if you're still in offline class, you can just simply go and scan the student's paper and that's it really quick. The second reason to get an iPad is that you have everything in one place. iPad is a great tool for personal and professional development. As a teacher, we need to take care of our emotional and physical health. An iPad just gives a great opportunity to keep track of our moods and we can simply write your thoughts of the day and reflect them and you can keep track of them later. For physical activity, I use a push-up app in order to keep track of my daily push-ups so that it can remind me to stop the sedentary lifestyle, especially while teaching online. For professional development, iPad gives me a great chance to read articles on a go and just by pressing a button so that I can have the RSS feed of all those favorite websites in order to give you a better idea of language teaching. Also, you can simply plan your everyday task or like the things that you would like to accomplish on that day and it is really easy when you have it all in one place. Thanks to its larger display, iPad is a really great choice to read, but I usually do it to read some articles in the field of teaching. So it gives me even more productivity while having all these features all together. In terms of classroom management, iPad is a really handy tool. 
it can help you with grouping your students and choosing a random student to do certain activities. And more importantly, I use the iPad for making sure that each student has an equal chance of speaking in the class. So by using apps like Equity Maps, make sure that each student has an equal chance during the discussion. It can keep track of the gender equity, students' talking time, and this app is really great to make sure that those students who are less active and it gives us an idea of what to do in order to involve them more into the discussions, especially for teaching subjects like English. iPad is great for creating content for your lessons. I'm a big fan of Flip Classroom. And if you don't know what Flip Classroom is, just hit the bell button to get notification for the future videos because I'm going to talk about it in detail in my next videos. So using an app called Explain Everything, you can simply draw whatever you like or import any photo that you would like and just animate them and record your voice just using the internal microphone of iPad and it will make a great animation and your students will love it. Using Apple Pencil, you can draw whatever you like using your creativity and make it really great quality content customized for your own learners. Also, you can use some popular services like Canva that are optimized for your iPad and you can create your own attractive designs for your posters or any other materials that you use for your classroom. Last but not the least, I use iPad for classroom assessment, especially for offline classes. You can create an engaging and interactive quiz using some apps like Plickers. Plickers allow you to print some special types of papers with special QR codes or barcodes and all the thing you need to do is to give it to different students and the students will see the questions on the board and you start scanning those cards with your iPad and they will see the results on time like a magic. You can use an app called ZipGrade in order to grade your papers and store them on the cloud. So all the thing you need to do is just to get the student's answer sheet and then scan it with your iPad and save the results and it will automatically grade the papers and save them in a safe place. So that's all about the iPad. If you'd like to know more about the apps that I use in this video, please go to the description section below. Also, I would appreciate if you share your thoughts on the ideal devices for teachers and talk about your experience because it's going to help a lot of teachers out there. So thank you for watching. This is Mustafa. Peace.